My name is Steve Stevens, the best sports consultant money can buy. I make more money betting sports than anybody in the world. I'm the one that tells you who to bet. I'm not a bookie, I'm the bookie killer. If money talks, then I got a lot to say. I'm on the grind trying to make a hundred thousand dollars a day. The game that I pick, believe me, it's a winner. What I know could get you rich, cause all I pick is winners. Welcome to Lost Vegas. Money talks, money talks. Welcome to Lost Vegas. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the VIP Sports Podcast. Monday, August 31st, 2015. Darren Notero, a.k.a. Steve Stevens, the bookie killer. My partner in crime, the big skipper. What's going on, Skip? I'm a little upset right now. My Pennsylvania Little League team lost to Japan in the uh, World Series final yesterday. Yeah? You going to be okay? or uh, I'll make it through. You know, a team from the sticks in Pennsylvania, just south of Harrisburg, no, take, pr- taking on Japan in the Little League World Series. They blew it. Shit happens. They gave up two runs in the top of the first. They come back and they score ten runs in the bottom of the first, and then... Uh, they get beat 18-11. I, I feel you. That's before, a bummer. It's a it bummer. is. Before we get into it, Skipper, why don't you tell these people how to get a hold of us before we start okay. our podcast here today. Yeah, no problem. What you want to do, just go ahead and call the office. 877-220-6540. That's the easiest way to get a hold of us. Absolutely. You definitely want to subscribe to us on uh, YouTube or on iTunes. We love reading your comments, so go ahead and put the comments in there because we like reading them. We get a kick out of those. Absolutely. You can follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Facebook. We're at VIP Sports LV, and if you want to direct message us on Twitter or Facebook, go ahead and do that too. Make our day. We love we love when you guys do that. Anyway, back to it. How are you feeling today, Skip? Feeling pretty good. Like I said, just a little pissed off. The little leaguers blew it, but that's okay. You'll live, right? Yeah, I'm gonna live. Everything's cool. Nothing. A couple of shots of you know, Mark Maker's Mark will you know cure, right? Yeah, a little, little fifty dollar double down. Yeah, a little whiskey cures everything. <laughs> Double down on a five hundred dollar hand. Absolutely. Actually, I'm under the weather. You know, I don't feel too good. I got something going on my chest. I don't know if it was the cherry pie or the OG platinum triple Girl Scout cookie Kush I had. It could have been either one. Well, when, maybe when a combination of the two. When you're smoking Alaskan King, you know Alaskan King Crab Kush for dinner, <laughs> and, and Kush Krispies for breakfast. I mean, yeah, it's going to tend to cause a little problem. But anyway, back down to business. Back down to our podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Our job here is to go inside the world of sports, teach you how to be the best sports better you could possibly be. We have all the inside information. We're the guys that do all the work, players, coaches, CEOs, figure out how to, the number one sports consultant in the world. Our job is to show you the edge, show you how to make more money sports betting than anybody in the world. Three days till college football, Skip. I see that glowing. (laughs) Money. Money all day long. Paint your fucking face. The college atmosphere. The beers. It's way better than the NFL in my mind. Oh, my God. It's what college is all about, man. You got the college cheerleaders. You You got the band playing. Two fucking people. Two colleges that are going to war. Everybody's the same age. Everybody's drunk. Everybody wants to fuck. Everybody's got team spirit. And everybody's fucking getting drunk to hope to God their fucking team wins. 80,000 people in the bleachers. 100,000 people in the stadium. Yeah. Shout out to Happy Valley back in my state, Penn State. Oh, Rock yeah. and roll, baby. Uh, you know, I'm born and raised in Las Vegas. That Western Warrior High School out there, you know. My fucking high school doesn't even have a legitimate legal football program anymore. That sucks. They didn't have enough eligible players, huh? That sucks. What the fuck? Back into the news. Let's get back into sports. Uh, Jake Arrieta. Mm. No hits the Dodgers in L.A. Mm. Couldn't have happened to a better team, Steve. Well, it's the second time the Dodgers have been no hit in 10 days, Skip. Well, you know, Dodgers aren't one of my favorite teams. Uh, however, I never bet with my heart. And it looks like you guys want to chase Utley, so you put a jersey on him. First game in the lineup, he gets no hit yeah. by Mike Fires. <laughs> you said that motherfucker was going to have bad luck as soon as he went there. What happened? Imagine went- that. Nine days in a Dodger uniform, and all of a sudden you're no hit two, twice. They got shut down by Arietta on Sunday Night Baseball last night. How embarrassing. Anyway, uh, Dodgers, you got to get your shit together, like I said, and uh, stay strong. But they're not as weak as you think they are. Well, it's the first time that's happened since 1923. I was actually shocked to see that that's even happened before. So same same team in ten in ten days. Same shut out twice. Yeah, ten days since 1923. Yep, that's a great fucking stat, ladies and gentlemen. You're not getting any information like that nowhere else. You're not even a statistician or have a degree in sports, do you? No, I got, a, a, deg- I got a degree in making fucking money. Yeah, I'm just gonna say you're yeah. just a real motherfucker that knows what's going on, right? But I will tell you this: you want an ugly, you got him. You want a Jimmy Rollins, you got him. Pop him <laughs> up, Jimmy. Well, M- moving on, moving on. Redskins Keenan Robinson pile drive the fuck out of Kamar Aiken. I don't know if you saw that. 
John Harbaugh comes across the field and yeah. goes crazy at uh, Jay Gruden, yeah. who, by the way, doesn't want any fucking part of Harbaugh at all. Uh, I would have to agree with that. Yeah, yeah, Jay, Jay Gruden will take a smackdown. Yeah, uh, yeah, John's looking to scrap. Looking a lot of fighting going on in the preseason NFL. I don't yeah. know what. The, I mean, these guys have been fighting a lot. Inner squad fights going on every day at practice. Uh, you know, fights during these preseason games. The coaches are getting ready to go to blows. I mean, there's a lot of people, a lot of hostile people in the NFL. Correct. Now, listen, I I love the intense. I love the testosterone. I love everybody being that excited. But as a professional coach, it's your job to tame the motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. You know, that's where the coach's job is. Yeah, these motherfuckers got energy. Yeah, they want to fight. And, you know, I like a fighter. You know, you want to see a fight here and there. It's just like in our sales room, Skip. If two guys ain't going at it every five days, your yeah. sales room ain't worth shit. Yeah, you got to get fired up, man. How many times are guys in here fighting, motherfucking throwing things across because they take passion yeah. in making their clients money? If you got passion and that passion breaks. Passion and excitement yeah. is the two main things in any fucking job For you sure. do, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, uh, and Steve Smith, of course, you know. He's always scrapping. You know, one thing about Steve Smith... Uh, yeah, he got thrown out because I guess... He, he got ejected from the game as well. Yeah. He, he's always over there fucking scrapping. Yeah, he's always putting up the dukes. He seems to be a fighter. Yeah, well, and then RG3, things in Washington with RG3 uh, are a big-time mess right now. They got big problems in Washington, but it uh, looks like uh, Kirk Cousins is going to come in and save the day, apparently. There's a very good chance that he's not going to be the starter. Oh, he's definitely not. They named Kirk Cousins the starter uh, last night or early this morning. Uh, actually, they're trying to get rid of RJ3. That's, uh, that's what the word well, on the street is. The word on the street? A motherfucker, yeah. no one wants him. Yeah. It's like selling some fucking dirt weed when everybody's got cush. No, I, no one wants I him. I wouldn't want him. I thought he was a horrible pick to begin with. Like I said, uh, I said it in one of the other podcasts. Either this guy's just unlucky or... How the fuck is he in... A, listen, let me look into the camera. He's soft, man. How the fuck is he unlucky when he robbed the NFL and he's worth a $100 million? <laughs> Okay, I don't true. feel sorry for the motherfucker. That's true. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. He, he's lucky. He's just horrible. Yeah. And he's injury prone. He's and lucky he I, had I, those first two years. Yeah. And did some crazy shit where everybody thought he was unbelievable. Yeah. He's lucky he was as good as he was in college and had the right agent. And he's lucky somebody signed him. Yeah. I'll, I'll rephrase that. He's very lucky. Yeah, look, However, <laughs> he, he has a horseshoe up his ass type lucky. Yeah. I don't know if he was sleeping with a leprechaun or he had a white Irish girlfriend in fucking college. One thing's for sure. Uh, he's not doing anything in the NFL. He's been a big bust. You got and, a lot uh, of money. Good job. Move on. Be yeah. a good coach, but give back. Give that money back to the community. Just another... Go coach, call it a uh, high school, or you know, pay for them kids to get better. Take them out of the hood. Let yeah. motherfuckers get a better Do way. Do something productive with all that money you just sold, Absolutely. because uh, you ain't doing anything productive on the field. Hey, you hit it right on the head, That's man. for damn sure. Anyway, uh, interesting games to look at for tomorrow, Skip. Let's talk to these people. Uh, tomorrow uh, is the first. Uh, September 1st tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You know, you're a professional. It's here. Let's September. do a little talking. Let's, why don't you tell our guys a little bit. what? Maybe well, this time of the year when it comes to betting baseball. Uh, How about some knowledge of sports betting at this time? Knowledge of sports betting? Yeah. Well, okay. What's the knowledgeable way you should be betting right now? Right now, you should pay attention. In, in baseball, you should pay attention to bullpens. Pay attention to teams. Uh, that oh, Slow down on giving them, like, how to win. I mean, like... Well, what do you want me to tell them? Straight bets. Do you make parlays? Oh, Let's give a little knowledge. Start in the bet. beginning of the season. I'm a brand new gambler, Skip. Uh, college starts Thursday. Mm -hmm. Besides calling you, what do I do? So, I call you, what do I do? You call me and let me walk you right through it so there's no damn mistakes, first of all. Okay. okay. And what are you going to have me what do? What I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to straight bet them. I got $1,000, Skip. I'm going to teach you how to bet one game a day, maybe two at the most. I'm going to teach you how not to play every day, not to be a degenerate. I'm going to teach you how to manage your bankroll. Okay. And so I'm you're gonna, not going to give me three games a day, you're 15 not gonna get, Yeah, you're not going to get 15 games uh, that you can parlay and round robin all together and bird cages and, you know, reverses. You're going to be you're gonna be making straight bets. And What should be they doing, be making on Thursday? A straight bet? A straight bet. Absolutely. And if they have a thousand, okay, all right. Yeah, a straight bet means one solid game, one solid winner. Correct. And I'm going to manage that bankroll properly, and I'm going to teach you how to bet with patience and discipline and money management. More importantly, I'm going to teach you how to do this all the right way for the long term and make this a long-term investment and fill, and fill your pockets. That's I, what I'm going to do. I love your and, attitude. And by the way, it's been overwhelming, the number of people, first-time bettors that are contacting us and wanting to jump into the sports betting market. It's been overwhelming. I'm, and and we, we love... I feel people. guilty doing the fucking podcast when the phones are ringing off the hook. Yeah, yeah, See, ladies and gentlemen, and you can look over there into your camera, guys like me and Skip, we're here to make money. Like, our phones are out there ringing off the fucking hook right now, but I promise you guys we bring you a podcast every Absolutely. Monday and Friday. So here summer. it is. Yeah. So, moving on. Little knowledge in the sports betting, guys. You want to bet straight. You know what, Skip? I'll give you. Uh, it's Saturday. There's 50 fucking games on the board, 80 mm -hmm. games total. I'm excited. I'm drunk. I'm at uh, fucking 16 chicken wings deep, hot dogs in my ass. Yeah. I want to bet everything on the board. What do I do, Skip? 
uh, calm the fuck down. Uh-huh. Take a deep breath. Right. Take another, have another beer, shot of tequila, uh-huh. and let me walk you through this. Let me take you by the so hand. So, at all those games on Saturday, Skip, what do you what do you what let do you me, recommend they do? Let me turn your disease into betting seventeen games on Saturday and watch the team. Is that all day you, long. the disease you're talking about? Is degeneratitis? Degeneratitis. Okay. Yes, degeneratitis. Uh-huh. Let me turn you away from being a degenerate. Which is into dollars. Which is a per, which is a person who pays their book ninety percent of the right. time. Nine out of every ten weeks, you're paying your book. Fantasy don't make no money at this time of the year, motherfucker. No, exactly. Unless you're winning a contest or you're into jacking your dick and hanging out with a bunch of men, it ain't making you no motherfucking money. There's no there's no room for fantasy right now, motherfucker. It's reality. If you're looking this at is hell, reality betting right now. It's not fantasy. This is where you bet your hard-earned money and get fucking paid. Absolutely. High risk. High reward. So if you're looking to hang out with the fraternity, if you're looking to eat hot dogs and chicken wings and yell at a TV screen, this ain't for you. If you're looking to make money, if you're looking to treat this like a business, get a hold of us. VIP Sports Las Vegas.com. And of course, doing it our way. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, Absolutely. do it your way. We get your results. You might own the best investment consulting business on Wall Street. I won't tell you how to run your business. You can't tell us how to run ours. I'll show you how to make more money than you've ever made in your entire life, period. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, me and Skip talk a lot of shit. We're hyped up. I'm under the weather a little bit today, but at the end of the day, Skip, all we care about is doing what? Making you money. Making you money and showing you an investment in a better way. Showing you that money in the bank doesn't do a fucking thing for anybody anymore. Showing you that even if you're broke and you only have 500 bucks uh, to to play with or a a smaller bankroll, whether you're small or large, there's always uh, a a way to to make money. Yeah. You can turn 500 into 5,000. You can turn 1,000 into 5,000. But don't wait. Like Uh, I said, it starts now. It starts Thursday. You have to dedicate yourself. There's no such thing as a part-time gambler. No. You don't play on Thursday and then say, give me a call next you know, Sunday. I was just explaining that to one of the guys I was talking to earlier this afternoon. I said, this is not a lottery ticket. Okay? Yeah. It, this is not a scratch-off. If you're looking to go to a convenience store and buy a couple of rip-off tickets or a couple of scratch-offs, knock your socks off. Well, gl- We're not here for weekend warriors. We're here for people that want to make long-term investments and show long-term profits. It's yeah. as simple as that. Plain it's not simple. a marathon. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon. Yeah, and if, right? yeah absolutely. Simple and, and, as that. And, 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 and there's some really hot teams right now, man. Talk to me. Wow. That's another thing. So who's hot right now? Who's hot? Who's not? Skip? Man, Blue Jays are on fire. <laughs> El, they, they look like El Scorcho. El Scorcho. They look about <laughs> as good as the Eagles do in preseason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye, Eagles. Bye. Wow, that, guys, are soar, you ever... Soar, Eagles. Soar. Man, do they look good. Now, you're, you're, I mean, how are we going to have fucking Woo! millions of fucking listeners when you're fucking uh, one-sided with your fucking... Shout Eagles, out huh? to those Eagles, man. Dude, you got to be good. neutral, Skip. You got to be neutral, bro. I'm neutral, baby. All right, keep your heart aside when you come when to the podcast. To, when it comes to money, I'm we neutral. Just need, okay, we just need an opinion. Okay. So but, uh, There's some real hot teams in, in, in baseball right Toronto, now. Toronto. Toronto's hot. The Mets are playing well. Uh, St. Louis just wins nonstop. Uh, the Yankees have been playing fairly well. Texas is coming on strong, people. They're they're in a tough spot tonight, I'll say that. However, they are, they are coming on strong. I want to ask you, you know, New Jersey school teacher uh, keeps his job despite being late 111 times. Sounds like me. A hundred. Well, this is <laughs> this is why I'm asking you. 111 times in 112 days. He was late for what? Opening bell. Guess what his excuse was. I don't know. He was eating breakfast. Well, that's a good. Now excuse. what the fuck? That's exactly. What do you mean? Uh, this sounds like fucking guys in my sales room. Well, you gotta have breakfast. You were late that. because you were eating breakfast. Uh, I had to uh, get a haircut. I had to meet my tax guy. I, I've, I've never actually used that. I was eating breakfast. I've never used that excuse. Well, you're, you're so comfortable with your job and being a motherfucking CEO that you don't care. You don't even give me the time of day to even give me an excuse. Oh, listen. I, I've been late 111 times and, okay. missed, and, and missed another 111 days. And probably wrote 111 million. And wrote 111 million. <laughs> So don't matter. Fuck them. I've got every fucking story in the book. I don't even bother using them anymore. Yeah, well, anyway, they let him keep his job. Big out to you, guy. Well, he should. It, it sends a message that just just eat your breakfast and be late every motherfucking hey, day. Good teachers are hard to find, Steve. All right. Anyway, I got a little segment that they want us to do. It gets the viewers and fans and people to get us to know me and you a little bit better. If you look at this fucking sheet that you have down there in front of you here, the question, you know, I'm going to ask you a question. You give me an answer. Vice versa. So we're going to play, play a little game, a little uh Pick one or the other. Pick one or the other. Absolutely. Okay. So, like, you go, you go ahead and start with number one. Or, or I'll start better, better yet. All right, chicken or steak? That's easy. Steak. Steak. Absolutely. You know what? I agree, but disagree a little bit because you know what? I love steak, but I get sick of fucking steak. You can eat chicken every day. So if you really have you, to break it, yeah. you listen to the statement: chicken or steak. You're on an island. Chicken or steak. 
Steak. Okay, steak. All right. I'll take a filet any day of the week. I can eat a filet every day. So can I. But every now and then you get them fucking steaks that just don't taste right. You never get the, the, the one little... Not, the, steak, not the steaks I'm eating. Oh, well, you're going to Larry's every fucking day, Skip. Yo, I'm those, going to Steve's fucking steakhouse. Goddamn right. Absolute blowout Steven dinner. Steven Wells, absolute blowout dinner. You guys like to eat. You like making money. You come over there and get a fucking absolute blowout winner. Get your steak and lobster and leave out of there with an absolute blowout absolute dinner. Absolute blowout filet. That's <laughs> that's going to guarantee you being able to be on the toilet having an absolute another blowout. Can we just stick to this <laughs> shit here real quick, bro, before me and you go to left field? All right. Well, let me ask you one. If you only had one vice for the rest of your life, weed or booze? Fucking hands down <laughs> marijuana. I knew you'd say that. Give me the weed all day, because if I got a stomach ache, I got something yeah. wrong, I, you know, the medication takes you over and beyond what you ever thought was possible. That was an easy It just gives me a little pep to my step. So, yeah, marijuana. You're not even going to dispute me on that, huh? Uh, Well, me personally? Uh, yeah. I, I, I'm going with booze. You know that. <laughs> I like to drink three, four days a week, if, if at all possible. Okay. So, can only watch and root for one, Eagles or Phillies? That's easy, too, the Phillies. You know I'm a baseball guy. Okay. It's all about my Phillies. I want to shout out to those Eagles. I think I already did that. Oh, yeah. So if I had to pick between the Eagles or the Phillies, that's that's simple for me. Well, buddy. I, you, I, I'm an old school baseball guy. Phillies, well, I got, all you got to do is come and look at your fucking desk. You got yeah. some of the most gangster old school memorabilia I've ever seen in my life. My son's got my son's got more balls than a fucking porn off star. <laughs> <laughs> he's, got signed, he's got signed balls all over the place. Oh, my god. We got jerseys. Yeah. We got hats. We got balls. We got autographs. We got it all. All right, go ahead. We're baseball people. Huh? So I'm going to go with the Phillies there. Okay. It's been tough this year. Well, all right. Michael so, Jordan or Kobe Bryant? Without any shadow of a doubt. Do I tell motherfuckers I'm the Kobe Bryant of the business? That's true. <laughs> Michael Jordan all day, baby. If Michael Jordan called you and was willing to help you shoot a jump shot, would you let him? I'd have to. Let me do my job. I'm the Michael Jordan of the business. I'd have to agree. Fair with that. enough? Yeah, I'd have to definitely agree with that. Yeah, that's a fucking fact. All I right. almost want to say Michael Jordan or LeBron. Fuck Kobe. Correct. Shout, I went, out, shout out to Kobe from Philly. Kobe, by the way. well, you did some good. <laughs> your head. Sorry, sorry about that. Oh my God! You hear that, Philly people? But yeah, Kobe, he, he's a bitch, but he's a good dude. He's had a good career. Michael Jordan level, no. LeBron no. James, absolutely not. No. Uh, just to give you a quick so, stat. So, so, just to give you a quick stat. Michael's been out of the league for a long, long time. Endorsements. Oh yeah. Mike Buck ninety, LeBron forty. Yeah, he won't. He's still anything. making three times the biggest NBA player. I saw that where he said he wouldn't do anything for less than ten million dollars. Breasts. How can you blame him? Breasts, titties, or ass? Titties or ass? Well, I've always been a Bo- breast man. You've I, been a breast man? That's another easy one for me. Is it really? I'm all about the tits. Okay, I love it. See, <laughs> I'm, now i got to disagree. i, I got to think you're opposite. I, uh, booty, teeth, and feet are my whole thing. Booty? Booty, teeth, teeth and, and feet. feet. There yeah, you have you it, got people. some pretty little feet. Another, you got a nice little booty. you got a million-dollar smile. I can work, you know, that's how another, it is. There's another, another Steve-ism. Kelly's got all three of those. Big shout-out to the booty, teeth, and feet, Kelly. <laughs> booty, but teeth, and feet. But let me tell you feet. what. Booty or breast, listen. You can take, you can always buy tits, but you got to have that ass natural. I don't like fake breasts, bro. Well, well, I'm just trying to tell you. I don't like nothing fake about my bra. And see, there's nothing more that disgusts me than a big breast, a big ass titty girl with a flat pancake ass. Well, I mean, I. Nine I, out of ten I, I, I white girls that got the big titties got a yeah. pancake. Well, I didn't. Well, I didn't say I was looking for a flat ass either. It's, it's As just, a matter of fact, I'm not looking for anything. I got the perfect girl. That's what attracted you're me. You're taking to her. it too far. Answer the fucking question. Boobs. Or ass. You said breast. Titch. Okay. I would say ass because, you know, you could always buy tits. I'm a breast man, people. No. I always have been. And you got to have that thing. To, you got to have a depth sure. back there. And you have to have a little depth in that thing. See, the white girls that got big tits and the flat ass, you bend them over doggy and it's only like <laughs> a one inch. You can see the butthole already. You got to have some ass where you got like. You got to have some cushion for some. You push. got to have like a five inch differential there so you can see that thing jingle. Cushion, <laughs> see it jingle. Yeah, so uh, cushion, the jingle and bag. So you need a little cushion for the push. Correct. All right. So uh, same. It, 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 it was the same question. So I'm an ass man. Your titties. Okay. All right. So go ahead. Uh, breakfast or lunch, Skip? I already know that answer. Oh, you don't even fucking. Uh, no, you guys probably think Skip eats. This motherfucker tough, never eats at work. I never eat lunch. I actually never see him eat, but I, when you go home, oh, you I obviously go, eat like a king. When I go home, I get it on. You get the grapes spread like Caesar. You're like yeah. Caesar when you get home. Absolutely. Okay. So, <laughs> so breakfast. Uh, That's a, actually a tough question. Breakfast I, I, or I lunch? I don't eat lunch very often. But you do crave breakfast when you're drunk coming home at 5 in the morning. Yeah, you're not I, craving lunch. I'm going to go with breakfast. Breakfast? Yeah, even though I don't really do breakfast either. Like, I'll do a little bowl of fruit or maybe an English muffin. I get a fresh squeezed glass of orange juice every single, every single day though. A shout out to the wife for that. Yeah, well, when you're, but let's say you have a little buzz and you're a little hungover. You're looking if you're gonna grab you something to eat to keep it. Oh, moving, it's gonna be some breakfast. It's gonna yeah. be a little breakfast, yeah. right? I right. gotta go with breakfast. I hardly ever even eat lunch. Okay. 
So the next one's on you over there, buddy, number eight. Biggie or Pac? Pac? How are you going to disrespect my boy Pac? Tupac or Biggie? <laughs> they asked me my top five. I thought it was Pac-Man Jones. <laughs> oh, Tupac. Yeah, Tupac or Biggie. All right, Biggie or uh, <laughs> They asked me my top five Pac-Man. rappers. They asked me my top five rappers. I told them, Pac, 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 and Pac. Okay. Tupac hands down, best motherfucking rapper I'm, I'm of all out of, time. I'm out of my, I'm out of my yeah, that's, a, well, that's why they had you ask I, I, me, probably. I, I thought they were talking about Pac-Man Jones. Yeah, so... Uh, the, oh, okay, the video game. Do I game. like Pac-Man or Gallagher? Uh, How about know. the video game? Asteroids or Pac-Man? I used to have the key the pad, the key pattern back in the day, the fucking Pac-Man. You had fucking Miss Pac-Man. Who you no, I had Pac-Man. My Pac- dad, a little ass kid, my dad would take me to the car wash out here and I'd play that motherfucker. Yeah, Miss Pac-Man. Actually, I think he was getting drugs... Now that I look back on it, he'd leave me... At, he'd drop you off the car at the arcade and you'd go get some drugs. six years old with a roll of quarters uh-huh. in there on my Pac-Man game, and I yeah. think he'd sneak off because he'd come back nodding out a little bit. Wow. That may pose a problem. Big out, big shout out to all the uh, good dads out there and guys that actually want their kids. And uh, to you guys out there who don't want your kids that have kids, you fuck it up for us guys that uh, are good loving dads, so... You guys that don't pay child support and take care of your kids and you don't want your kids, you're not a man. You're a fucking cunt. That's what you are. Where'd that come from? Well, I don't know where we went there. Biggie and Tupac, but I agree with you, by the way. I'm taking Pac. I agree with you. Feel me? They told me not to roll with my Glock, so now I got to float away in my white rolls trying to do a pot a day. (laughs) (laughs) All right, you're next, brother. Uh, Playoff game on the line, Uh, Eli or Peyton? Fuck, you better think about that before you speak. No, I don't have to think about that at all. You know who chokes like a motherfucker. I know who chokes, and I know who's got a couple He chokes like he's smoking kush. Oh, okay, well. Let's... Eli or Peyton? Well, I'm going to I'm gonna go with Peyton, and I'm going to tell you. I... In the playoff I'm game. I'm a big Eli hater. Let me uh-huh. explain myself. You know that I'm a Charger fan. I go back to the days of Dan Fouts. Kellen Winslow, Charlie Joyner, Johnny Jefferson, a little Chuck Muncie in the backfield, a little Air Coriel. That's some O2 old you know for what me. I'm saying? No, I don't have a fucking clue. Yeah, well, the, the boys out there remember the powder blue and the lightning bolts. Yeah, <laughs> Big Skipper was representing the Chargers since, okay. he, since he was about seven or eight years old. And? It's the Eagles and the Chargers. My heart's really with the Chargers, if you want to be honest. I don't but think any... Uh, did they... Okay. But I anyway, didn't ask you. Any, anyway, Eli refused to play for the Chargers. When he came out of college and he was, you know, was okay. number one pick with the Chargers. Yeah. He said, if you... Pick me with your pick. I will not sign with you. That's how. That, that's uh, that's how they ended up with Rivers. Okay, so knowing that he's performed he re- better in the playoffs, knowing that Peyton's yeah. lost every single time. Fuck you, dude. So once again, you're going with your heart. Can no. you give these guys like educational Eli, decisions? Eli, man, he's a fucking punk. I mean, you don't come into the goddamn league and say where you're going to play and where you're not going to play. Okay. Uh, so I, I've always been. So you're taking. I've Peyton. always I've always been against Eli Manning. Sorry, New Yorkers. Sorry, Giant fans. No problem. Uh, I just don't like Eli, and I'm telling you why. I think he's a punk, and I'm going with the big brother. Jesus I'm going, Christ. I'm going with Peyton. Anything else you think about the guy? No. Okay. Now, I disagree. Um, if it's regular season or any other time, I'm taking Peyton Manning all day long. In the playoffs, I am taking Eli. He's a proven winner. I'm betting to win, and I need to go with statistics. I can understand why you'd go there. Uh, I just I can't back Eli no matter what. All right, it, number killed, 10. it killed me to watch him win those Super Bowls. I'm sure it did. Number ten, Muhammad Ali or Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson all day long. Mike hey. Tyson. Mike. Well, you could disagree. I'm. A, can I answer my part first yeah. before I get buzzed out and all that shit? <laughs> you mind? So uh, Mike Tyson all day long. Mike brought a vibe to me that fucking blew my mind. I remember he was our general. I remember where he was when he got knocked out by Buster Douglas. By the way, he was smoking rocks at that time. Wow. Uh, Robin Givens was uh, fucking Brad Pitt. He caught, mm. actually, Mike caught Robin Givens fucking Brad Pitt, stretched out. I don't know what the fuck. It, he was smoking Kush nonstop. I don't know if he was doing blow or anything else. Ain't my business. Shout out to Mike Tyson, the best ever. I'd have to say Ali, bigger legend, not my time. Mike Tyson gave me the chills when that motherfucker came out in his black shorts oh, yeah. and his no fucking socks yeah. on and came out there with his shit black. I remember being in high school. What happened couldn't, in those days? Yeah, couldn't, wait, you, couldn't wait to see Mike walk into the ring and just fucking you get pound, that, just pound somebody in 30 seconds. Motherfucking kid. You get that feeling? Just walk right up to you, punch you in the fucking face, game's over, see you later. Who's next? Besides Ali, which I wasn't around, definitely the best heavyweight era ever, and we got to see it. Ali was more of a craftsman. Well, what about these days? Are you pumped, are you pumped up when Klitschko comes out looking like fucking Drago? Rope a dope. Do you get pumped for heavyweight fights? Hey, there's two anymore? different styles, man. When it comes to boxing, you know hey, that you know that better than anybody. This question ain't even on there because I don't get what you're saying. So, boxing better than heavyweight division better back in Tyson days or now? Back then. Okay. 
Floyd May- I, listen, went to, I went to Muhammad Ali camp in Deer Lake, Pennsylvania. Do you even know why Floyd Mayweather is worth a half a billion? He actually took that market over. Yeah, because he's forty nine and zero. No, because and nobody watched. Mar- and he's a great marketer. Correct, and he's and he's nobody. No one's watching heavyweight no more. Yeah. So he had to take the boxing game and put it on his motherfucking back. Sure. And carry it like a fucking cross through the did, kingdom. And he did it better than anybody. And he did it fucking great, and he deserves yeah. every motherfucking penny he's got. Big shout out to Money May, my boy. I'll be over there seeing him train. And by the way, guys. Been in his training camp every day for the last fucking three weeks. He was ready two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. He's a fucking beast. Berto, God bless you, homie. Get ready at one way. Take it back to Haiti. I saw, I saw to him, Haiti. Uh, what's that I saw him playing Isaiah Thomas in that basketball game? A little best out of five. Who? Floyd. Did you see that? Buddy, that's all he does. He loves doing When you got yeah. money like that, you, you know, he is a world-class athlete, you know. Yeah, I played basketball with I, him. I was impressed with his basketball skills. Yeah, he's got he's got game. Yeah. He's just short, but he's fast. No, he's he got a real game. Yeah, yeah. Kanye West uh, goes crazy at the VMA Awards. Well, Rants you know, on, you know, on and on and on forever. Right. Announces he will run for president in 2000. I he's can't he's stand him. He's going to run for president yeah, listen, in 2020. I can't. Why do you keep booking this motherfucker? Listen, you don't want me to start talking about Kanye West. This guy's obviously. He makes me I got nothing good. I got nothing good to say about a that. A cool thing. dude or whatever. I, I, like if I seen him on the street, I could kick it with him, smoke a blunt with him. This and that, but as far as like his girl, he doesn't impress me at all. No, don't awesome. like Kim Kardashian. He's lost his mind. She's, uh, huh? He's lost his mind. So who's he gonna? So he's gonna run for president in twenty twenty. What's he, he gonna bring on Kate Jenner for his fucking uh, running mate? Buddy, these nuts <laughs> would have a better chance of winning presidency. Kanye, than Kanye West. Kanye West for president. Kate Jenner vice president. There's right. your ticket. Yeah. Well, it's fucking embarrassing at the end of the day. But that's uh, real embarrassing, my friend. Well, you know what? I'm thinking that uh, it should be Kanye West for president. Caitlyn Jenner as his wife or, yeah, or vice president. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that Larry, Larry Bird or Magic Johnson? That'd be equal, uh, that'd be equal for me. Cause, uh, really, well, you got to pick one. I'm not in that area. I don't give a fuck about neither one of them. It would be equal. I would have to say I would no HIV Larry Bird. Bird. I go with Bird. Huh? I go Sharp with shooter? Yeah. Magic all-around superstar. Though, they're both, the they're both monsters, but that's a tough one. Magic ended up catching the package. So I'd have to say Larry Bird went the, down the better road. Mm-hmm. Okay, I mean he kept his cock fucking tied up a little bit. You but know as I mean? a but as a player, <sighs> Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson. Magic got me a little wow. bit more excited. But you know what? I take it back because when him and Isaiah, like once I was old enough to like him a little bit because I was watching Jordan when they were kissing each other before the games and all that, just made me fucking sick. Yeah, I couldn't believe I was even seeing this shit. Yeah, it made me fucking sick. I hear you. That's some shit you like though, right? You didn't no. mind them kissing, right? <laughs> yeah. no, I don't like Skip. This. You support the rainbow. Be honest. Be honest. I support everyone and everything. Me too. Especially anyone that's willing to come on board and work with me. Go to VIPSportsLasVegas.com. Give me a call. Come get aboard. Give me a call at 877-220-6540. Get a hold of the big skipper. Get a hold of the office. Let's go make some money together. Yes. Let's let's pound baseball for a couple days. Uh, College football starting on Thursday. What about Bradford? Man, man. What about Sam Bradford just absolutely shining like a motherfucking diamond? You want to talk about the Eagles again? No problem. Well, I'm just shining like a motherfucking diamond against Green Bay, bro. They look pretty good. I mean, it was was mind-blowing. What if they scored like 150 points now in three preseason games? 140? Uh, uh, 140 It's fucking insane. Yeah, it's beyond belief. But at the end of the day, we just wanted to keep this podcast nice and short, dip into it. We got a long day. Plus, these guys got to download the podcast so our viewers can get it later this afternoon. Skip, give a reason for these guys to call us tomorrow. Give them a reason for they call us on Thursday. I'm going to give you a reason because the first college football game of the year on Saturday, North Dakota State played Montana. North Dakota State, the reigning champ, ranked number one. They're laying 14 and a half points to Montana, and Montana beats their ass outright on ESPN Saturday night. Now, if you think you can do this on your own, people, that should have been your first sign right there. You want to lay 14 and a half with a favorite on the road, rank number one? You think you're just going to go out there and steal the first game of the year in college football? Well, guess what? They lost the game outright. Shout out to the Montana Grizzlies. They got Not only did they cover the spread, they won outright. Okay? You can't do this on your own. Don't throw darts with your money. You work too hard for your money. Unless you got a money tree growing in the backyard, or you're a trust fund kid, or you're a dot-com fucking billionaire, you can't afford to throw your fucking money away. Get a hold of us. We got the information you need to know when shit like that's going to happen. You're going to know about it. VIPSportsLasVegas.com. I told you guys at the end of every podcast, I'm going to give you some motivational statements on how to close in your everyday life. And I've been doing it every day. I'm going to keep it a little bit more for you right now. All I want is the opportunity to showcase my talent. Give me 1% of my trust. I'll earn the other 99. Go over every single thing for these guys to trust you. Period. If money's tight and things are rough, it sounds like I'm the blessing in disguise that you've been waiting for. 
Give me the opportunity to do my job. Let me put some money in your pocket and show you there's somebody out there who can actually do what they say they can do. Fair enough? Fair enough. I'm just saying, it's statements like that. Skip, you know, major closing statements. That's going to get guys that just believe everything that you're doing. Don't let the players be the only ones to get paid. Free could be the most expensive word in the world. I mean, somebody calls you up, gives you a game that you bet $500 on, and it loses. All these guys that are calling you, giving you free games, mm -hmm. free could be the most expensive word in the world. For you guys that are taking free games and expecting free games, <sighs> fuck out of here. You ain't going to make no money doing that shit. Free could be the most expensive word in the world. Somebody calls you up, gives you a free game, you bet $1,000 on it, and it loses. What part of free was that? And it's all over the industry. You get what Tie you pay for. Cheap things aren't good, and good things aren't cheap. Tie up your shoelaces and run like hell, people. At the end of the day, guys, all we want to do is make you money. All we want is the opportunity to give you a second income, take you over and beyond what you thought was possible. You know why? Because you fucking deserve it. We're on top of the mountain reaching down. All you got to do is grab our hand, and we'll pull you to the top because you fucking deserve it. VIP Sports Las Vegas, the big skip. We big love skip. you. And like I said, don't let the players be the only ones to get paid. couple of big baseball series out there. Give us a call. So, uh, yeah, man, the fucking phones are going crazy. The fucking guy is boom, boom, boom. The money talks, talks, then I got a lot to say. I'm like, glad I'm trying to make $100,000 a day. We pay with big cash and we come with money fast. Riding in a plush Benz trunk full of money bags. I need a G for every light bulb on the Vegas strip. Making pictures in my mansion, dancing to some player shit. Made a grip on the grind, but I started.